from formula it is clear that capacitance is independent of position of the dielectric introduced cases first if more if more than one dielectric slab are placed between the capacitor then the capacitance equals to epsilon not a by d minus t1 minus t2 minus dx 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 minus t1 plus t1 by k1 plus t2 by k2 plus dx 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 t1 by kn where t1 t2 dx 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 tn are the thickness of dielectric and k1 k2 there is can are the dielectric constant of respective dielectric as shown in the figure two if a single dielectric slab completely fills the space between plates then t equals to d Hence, capacitance C will be equal to epsilon naught A divided by D minus T plus T by K equal to epsilon naught A by D minus T plus T by K equal to K epsilon naught A by D. Or C equals to K k into c not where c not is the air field capacitance of a capacitor three if a conducting slab whose dielectric constant is in we know that the conductor have dielectric constant infinity placed between the plates then we have formula for capacitance c equals to epsilon naught a by d minus t plus t by k here k will be here putting the value of k as infinity we get c equals to epsilon naught a by d minus t plus t by infinity this implies c equals to epsilon naught a by d minus t the situation is shown in the figure four if the space between the plate is completely filled with a conductor then t equals to d and k equals to infinity then c equals to we have formula c equals to epsilon naught a by d minus t plus t by k equals to epsilon naught a d minus d plus d by infinity equals to infinity The situation is shown in the figure that is capacitors now behave as a conduct earthed conductor.